Hello and welcome into this video tutorial by Jim Reynolds. Listen, I want to share with you exactly how to purchase your own domain name and how to use it for a specific reason. You can get your own domain domain name for about $9.99 a year or you can do a search on Google and look for promo codes for GoDaddy.com. GoDaddy.com is the recommended resource for getting your own domain name simply because they make it so easy to manage and also because of this. Something you don't find just everywhere and that is 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, sales and support and I mean real support, they'll actually walk you through this process. If you can't just can't get it from my video, you can uh, count on them to walk you through the process. And of course, we're going to set up what's called a forwarding domain. That's our first step. First of all, we're going to show you how to purchase a domain. Let's look at searching for a domain name. Now, don't get real caught up in this if it's your first domain. You might try seeing if some version of your name is available. I actually own JimReynoldsWeb.com. But in this case, I'm going to search and see if Redneck Wealth is available. Now, the system will automatically, you don't have to put in www or anything like that, just the name you want. I'm going to look for Redneck Wealth and also you don't have to worry about dot anything because it's going to search for dot com and all of the others. In fact, I'll uh, show you that here in just a second. Let me readjust the camera just a little bit. But right here it searches for all of them. Dot com, dot info, dot net. All you have to do is type in your name you want and click go. And GoDaddy will let you know if the domain name is available. If it's not, they'll give you some suggestions. But good luck for me and for the time it takes to watch this video, RedneckWealth.com is available. So I'm going to purchase this for $9.99 a year. I didn't take the time to look for a promo code, but you can. And uh, you can uh, do that. There's a place to put the promo code at some point. But right here, I'm just going to click proceed to checkout. They try to look at all the other domain names and all of that that you could get, try to entice you. I'm just going to go straight on, proceed to checkout, and you have to do this a couple of times to get to the actual part that you pay. They're trying to tell me here that, look, Redneck Wealth is a great name. You found it. Why not expand on it? Get all the others, redneckwealth.net. You can do that if you like. I'm going to continue to the checkout. Now here is where you and I are going to part ways for just a second. You'll need, if this is your first time, to fill in this information to create an account, to create an account at GoDaddy. If you already have an account like I do, you'd simply click the login and log in here to complete your purchase of this domain name you have just found. So you go ahead if you need to, fill in all of this information, pause the video if you like. I'm going to log in. And we should meet on a very similar page to continue this process. So if you need to, fill out the uh, information here. Go ahead and do that. Pause your video. It's no problem. When you get through all of this, welcome back, by the way, you should end up on a page similar to this. Now, they try to default this to two years. I'm going to change it to one year. I just want one year at a time at this point. All this other stuff, I don't bother with. I don't need any of it. It's not a big deal. How you plan to use it? You can say personal or business. They try to do all this other. No thanks. Look, I'm ready to check out. Continue. I actually have a business name associated with my account. It's one of the reasons I say business, but you can use it for personal, business, whatever. Um, but just be sure and check no thanks and continue on. And here we are back at the final part, hopefully, of our checkout process. This is where you can enter your promo code right here if you have one. If you took the time to search for one and they'll apply that and it will have a you know an effect on your price. You are going to pay about 20 cents to ICANN which is sort of the governing body of websites. But basically I'm going to get this uh, domain name for about ten dollars and nineteen cents for the whole year. It will belong to me and I can renew it if I like or let it go if I like but it will belong to me for at least a year and as long as I want to keep it and keep paying the renewal cost on it which is normally about nine dollars or ten dollars a year um, provided you don't have a promo code and I don't know if they'll let the promo codes apply there but in any case I am now going to pay for my domain name everything looks good I've looked over everything up here the pricing they didn't add anything extra now I'm going to select my method of payment 
and I would suppose that you could figure out how to pay for this. You can use a credit card, PayPal, whatever it is you choose to uh, to pay with. And I'll see you in the next video. Go ahead and pay for your domain name. I'll see you in the next video. But oh, before I leave, you might want to look over these. Make sure you check both of these that you have read them. Go ahead and check it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, and we'll show you how to get this domain name working as I proceed here to purchase my redneckwealth.com through PayPal. And that's how you purchase. That's how you find and purchase a domo domain name. And then in the next video, we're going to show you how to use that domain name just to forward it to somewhere that you'd like to go. And we'll proceed on from there. Thank you for watching. I hope you find a great domain name. Try to use your name in the first one. It's a lot easier that way. Just so you know, when you complete your order of your domain, you're going to have a customer number right here. And you you chose the login when you went through the process of setting up your account if you're setting up a new account at GoDaddy. This customer number is something you're only going to keep a record of because that's how you log in at GoDaddy with that customer number and the and the password that you chose. So I just want to make that clear before we end of this video. Listen, look for the next video where we're going to we're going to go in and, and show you how to manage this domain name in a quick and easy way to get it forwarded to a website that you want it to go to. And then for those of you that want to go on, we'll have another video that uh, where we get into actually hosting your your new domain name for free for one whole year. Uh, be up to you. You can carry this as far as you like. But just wanted to let you know that's pretty important information. You're going to be issued a customer name. You choose the password when you set up the account. That's what you'll need to log in. So we'll see you in the next section of your new domain name.